हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द ब्रांड न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज मॉड्यूल्स ओके सो लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट जावा 9 इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ न्यू एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर कॉल्ड मॉड्यूल्स मॉड्यूल्स गिव यू अ वे to describe the relationship and dependencies of the code that comprises an application okay so there is a complete application or complete java project we are creating right so module will give you what a way to describe relationship and dependencies between the code okay like multiple packages and so on modules also let you control which parts of module are accessible to other modules uh, and which are not as simple as that through the use of modules you can create more reliable more scalable programs okay so now we will begin with modules modules are most helpful to large applications because they help reduce the management complexity often associated with a large software system so modules are like part simple simple parts and uh, because of those parts you can create more reliable and scalable programs small programs also benefit from modules because java api library has now been organized into modules so for both large and small programs the modules are beneficial now it is possible to specify which parts of api are required by your program and which are not so you will be specifying this particular thing that which parts of api are required and which are not required and now this will make it possible to deploy programs with smaller runtime footprint which is especially important when creating code for small devices such as those intended to be part of the internet of things i o t it will deploy uh, it will be possible to deploy a program with smaller runtime footprint okay and why it is important a smaller runtime footprint because when you are creating code for small devices such as those intended to be part of the uh, internet of things so whenever you are creating code for small small devices this smaller and time footprint is essential or important support for modules is provided both by language elements including several keywords and by enhancements to java c java and other java tools okay so how the support is provided uh, support for modules is provided by language elements what are the language elements keywords example of language elements are keyword and by enhancement to java c java and other jdk tools okay so in all way modules are supported through the use of new uh, keywords and through the use of enhanced java c enhanced java that is enhanced java compiler interpreter and other jdk tools and also new tools and file formats were introduced to support the modules okay the java and the runtime system were substantially upgraded to support modules okay so in short the complete jdk and runtime system were upgraded to support modules okay modules constitute a major addition to an evolution of the java language module basics in its more uh, in its most fundamental sense a module is a grouping of packages and resources that can be collect collectively referred to by modules name okay multiple packages and resources resources are nothing but video files audio files image files text files these are all called as resources in programming languages okay so module is a grouping or combining of packages and resources all together and all together collectively will be referred by modules name so you will be giving a module particular name a module declaration specifies the name of the module and defines the relationship a module and its packages have to the other module okay so how to declare a module first of all you have to give a module name and 
then the relationship of module and its internal packages to other modules so this is very simple thing you have to understand module declarations are program statements in a java source file and supported by several module related keywords so how to declare a module those will be declared by program statements in java file okay and supported by several module related keywords so there are specific module related keywords those to support module declaration and all this declaration will be done in the java source file that is dot java file okay so what we have learned it is a grouping of packages and resources all together that will be combinedly referred to as modules name so how to declare a module you will giving you will be giving a module particular name and defines the relationship module and its internal packages have to other modules okay so how to declare modules it will be declared in a java file that is dot java file and supported by several module related keywords so those are exports provides uses module requires with open to open transitive these are the keywords newly added to support the modules it is important to understand that these keyword are recognized as keywords only in the context of module declaration these keywords are not used anywhere else those will be only and only used in the context of module declaration they are interpreted as identifiers in other situations if you will use these names in other situations in other programming languages those will be treated as identifiers or variable names or class names etc etc the keyword module could for example also be used as a parameter name like a variable name although such a use is certainly not recommended okay but still you can use it in other uh, other situation but most of the time it is not recommended but still you can use it and most of the times it will be used in the context of module making the module related keywords context sensitive to even problems with pre existing code that may use one or more of them as identifier okay okay what this line is telling you making the module related keywords that we have that we have seen in the previous slide these keywords making these keywords context sensitive context sensitive means will be used in a particular context prevent problem with pre existing code okay so it will prevent problem with already existing or legacy code that may use one or more of keyword as identifier the module declaration is contained in a file called module info.java that the module is defined in a java source file this file is then compiled by java compiler into a class file and is known as a module descriptor okay the module info.java must contain only a module definition okay it cannot contain other type of declaration only module related information will be contained in that a module declaration begins with the keyword module here is here is its general form module module name and module definition okay so you will be grouping together all the things packages and resources into this module and giving a body in a particular name okay keyword module is used here and only module definition is allowed in this okay it cannot contain other type of declaration the name of the space name module is given by module name which must be valid java identifier or sequence of identifiers separated by periods okay so name of the module module is given by module name which must be a java identifier identifier can be anything uh, like you know, like which is uh, following the rule of identifier valid identifier or a sequence of identifier multiple identifier separated by periods or dots okay the module definition is specified within the braces like any other block 
of code although a module definition may be empty okay which results in declaration that simply names a module typically it specifies one or more clauses that define the characteristics of the module okay even if it is empty it will uh, specify one or more clauses that will define the characteristics of the module okay simple module example now we will see at the foundation of modules capabilities are two key features so how uh, a module can perform we will see now so there are two main features we will go we are going to introduce here first is modules ability to specify that it requires other modules okay one module will be requiring another module one module can specify that it depends on another okay a dependence relationship is specified by use of required statement one module requires another module the presence of the required module is checked at both compile time and run time okay if one module is requiring another module so if it is uh, that uh, required module is actually present is it there it will be checked both at compile time and run time the second feature is modules ability to control which if any of its packages are accessible by another module okay this is accomplished by use of the export keeper so module is capable to tell that i am having this this number of packages and if my any of the packages is exported or given by given or used by to the another module okay the public and protected types within a package are accessible to other modules only if they are explicitly exported okay public and protected type within a package private not allowed at any case we have already understood so only two access modifiers are there which are valid in this case one is public second is protected okay so this type of data within a package are accessible to another module only if they are explicitly exported so if you are you are explicitly that like you are writing a particular line that i am exporting this particular thing then only it will be accessible to outside module okay here we will develop an example that introduces both of these features so now we will understand with it uh, with uh, with the usage of example as usual the following example creates a modular application that demonstrates some simple mathematical function although this application is purposely very small it illustrates the core concepts and procedures required to create compile and run module based code okay it is very small code very simple example but it will tell you how to use the module based code the general approach shown here also applies to larger real world applications it is strongly recommended you work through the example on your computer carefully following each step okay so you will go one by one this chapter shows the process of creating compiling running module based code by use of command line tools okay so there are two advantages it works for all java programmers because no id is required okay like eclipse and second it is very it very clearly shows the fundamentals of the module system including how it utilizes directories okay so since it is uh, allowed for beginners because uh, who don't understand the eclipse or intellij idea any integrated development environment not at all required and second thing it this program shows the fundamentals of module system that is very basic things of module system including how it utilizes the directories or folder structure you will need to automatically create a number of directory and ensure that each file is placed in its proper directory okay so you have to uh, create a directory manually like in the windows how you will create a directory right click create new folder okay in this way each and every directory you will be creating manually first thing and second thing you have to ensure that each file is placed at its proper place okay 
when creating real world module based applications you will likely find a module aware id easier to use because typically it will automate much of the process okay so in the i integrated development environment like eclipse or intelij idea everything will be done for you like basic things creating a directory creating a file and placing that but in that particular place all these things will be automated so that you don't have to worry about it learning the fundamentals of modules using the command line tools will ensure that you have solid understanding of the module topic okay you can still use the integrated development environment but why we are starting with the uh, command line tool because first of all module is a new topic okay so it is the latest topic in, introduced in java it was not there before java 9 first of all and second thing when you will understand from the basic it will uh, it will ensure that you have every very solid understanding of the topic the application defines two modules there are two modules the first module is app start it contains package called app start dot my app demo that defines the application entry point in a class called my mod app demo okay App start is a one module. It in it there is a package my mod app demo, and in it there is a class my mod app demo with m capital n capital a capital d capital. My mod my mod app demo contains the main method like a public static void main. All these things will remain the same. Second module is app function. In that there is a package called app function dot simple function. Okay, that include the class name simple mathematical function okay so in that class there are three static methods that implement some simple mathematical functions the complete application or complete project will be contained in the directory tree that begins i at my mod app so what is my mod app my mod app is a starting point of the complete application so few words about module names are appropriate we will start how to name a module the name of the module such as app functions the prefix of the name of the package app functions dot simple functions okay so name of the module such as app functions is the prefix of the name of the package that it contains okay so package name will be written as module name dot package name you will not directly write the package name you have to remember this this is not required but it is used here as a way of clearly indicating to what module a package belongs to avoid the conflict when learning about and experimenting with modules short simple names such as those in this chapter we have used and helpful and you can use any sort of convenient names that you like but here we have used the simple simple name okay so whatever examples that we have done every package name will be having the prefix as the module name for the sake of understanding purpose first thing it is not required second thing but it is used for the sake of understanding uh, that indicates what more to what module a package belongs and when learning about and experimenting with modules we are given a short simple name okay but when you creating when you are creating modules you take what called distribution like in world real world application you must be careful because the names that you will choose for modules those should be unique okay you will want those names to be unique so clear choose them wisely at the time of this writing we the suggested way to achieve this is to use the reverse domain name method okay reverse domain name of the domain that owns the project is used as a prefix for the module okay so at this place suggested way to achieve this unique name for a particular module what method we have we are using reverse domain name method 
and in this method reverse domain name of the domain that owns the project is used as the prefix for the module what is the example a project associated with the herbshield.com would use com herbshield at the module prefix okay the same goes for the package name the project associated with herbshield.com would use form.herbsheet as the name of the model prefix. Okay. You have to remember this because naming conventions may evolve. Over time, you will want to change Java documentation for current recommendation. Okay. Because the model is a new topic. So, you have to take care for the naming conventions and it will be go vast and vast further more. Now, we will start. Start by creating the necessary source code directories by following the steps. First is the create directory called my mod app. That is the basic directory. This is the top level directory for the entire application. So first of all, go at whatever place you like. You are uh, open your windows. Go to my PC or this PC, whatever your name is. Go to a uh, drive other than C drive. C drive is the drive which is having the all the programs uh, installed of your PC. Okay. Other than this drive, go to D drive, E drive, F drive, whatever drive you are going to. Just go there, right click uh, in the blank space and create new folder and give it a name as my mod app. In that my mod app, create a subdirectory or subfolder called app source. So double click on that my mod app and create a folder app source. So this is the top level directory for the application source code, original source code. Under app source, create a subdirectory app start. Under this directory, create a subdirectory also called as app start. Okay. And after that, create a directory my mod app dev. Okay. So how you how it will li look like app source, app start, app start, my my mod app dev. Also under app source, create a subdirectory second directory that is called as app function under this directory create a subdirectory also called as app function and under this directory create a directory called simple functions thus beginning with app source you will have created this tree app source app functions app functions and simple functions okay this is the main method main directory my mod app after that app source is a directory here there will go two directories App start app functions in the app start there will be one more directory app start and then my mod app demo. In this one more directory called app functions and simple functions will be the another directory. After you have set up all these directories, then you can create the application source file. So there will be four source files. Two are the source files that define the application. First is simple match functions dot Java. Uh, which has three mathematical, three basic mathematical functions. Notice that simple math functions is packaged in app functions or simple functions. Okay, so this is one source file. You will write it down or you can go to it. Package app functions dot simple functions. Okay, this is the model name and this is the class. Okay, then public class simple math functions determine if A is a factor of B. Public static boolean. Each factor, which is static, no need to create object. This boolean returning true or false. This is the main, uh, this is the name of the method. And two parameters are required. If B module A is equal to is equal to zero, then return true. The second A is factor of B, otherwise return false. Return the smallest positive factor that A and B have in common. Okay. LCF is the name. Factor using positive values. Mat dot absolute a, mat dot absolute b. Okay. Minimum, uh, minimum will be get from a less than b. If it is true, a will be the minimum. Otherwise, b will be the minimum. Okay. So, from two to minimum, uh, to less than minimum divided by two. We are incrementing the i by one. Okay. If each factor is true a okay so a is factor of this minimum and 
uh, b is factor of this minimum okay so first of all we will find out the minimum value and then from 2 because every number is divisible by 1 okay you can divide it like 5 divided by 1 10 divided by 1 like okay so we will start with 2 and then i less than equal to minimum divided by 2 if minimum is 5 we will be iterating uh sorry if minimum is 6 we will be iterating up to 3 okay from 2 to 3 we are iterating one time okay so if a is a factor of i and b is also a factor of i then return i so it is the smallest positive factor starting from 2 up to minimum divided by 2 that have a and b have common in as a factor simple okay uh, otherwise it will return false return the largest positive factor greatest positive factor first of all get the value positive values uh, if minimum a less than b it will a otherwise it is b okay so from starting with minimum divided by 2 greater than is equal to 2 i minus minus in the reverse way if a is also factor and b is also factor return i otherwise it will return 1 as the smallest positive number simple mathematical functions have three simple static math functions this factor returns true if a is the factor of b lcf returns the smallest factor common to both a b and other words return the least common factor of a and b return the greatest gcf method returns the greatest common factor of a b one is written if no common factors are found in both the cases this file must be put in the following three three app source app functions app functions simple okay this is the app functions dot simple functions package today the second source file is my source my mod app dem uh, demo my mod app demo dot java it uses the methods in this my simple map functions dot java it is packaged in app start dot my mod app demo okay so it imports the simple math functions class because it depends upon the simple math functions for its operation so it has to use all the methods provided by simple math functions so it has to import the simple math function class okay app start my model app then import app functions dot simple functions dot simple mathematical function in this it is having main method okay if simple math function is factor 2 set 2 is the factor of set smallest for factor common to both 35 and 105 is simple mathematical function 35 105 and largest common factor to 35 and 105 is divided by 35 105 this file must be put in app source app start app start my mod app demo this is the directory for the app start dot my mod app demo package okay next you will add to uh, have to add module information it is compulsory this file contains the module definition okay so uh, add this mod app function module app function which defines the app functions module export the package app functions dot simple function that will be required by my mod app table okay notice the app functions export the package app functions dot simple functions which makes it accessible to another module okay okay the file must be put in app source app function it goes in app functions module directory which is above the package directory okay the module info dot java file for the abstract module is shown next notice that abstract requires the module app function okay the module info dot java for the abstract module we will be seeing in uh, next ppt and abstract requires the module app functions so app module definition for the main application module module abstract requires the module app functions requires app functions okay 
So at start requires the app function and it will be put in the directory called app source app start. Okay. So before we are going to see remaining keywords like require export and module, we will first compile and run this project and have the output. Be sure that you have correctly created directory and entered each file into its proper directory or proper flip. Okay. So compile and run the first module example. Java C has been updated to support modules. Begin it with Java 9. Just like all other Java programs, module based programs are compiled using Java C. The process is easy with the primary difference that you will usually explicitly specify a module path. Okay, all other things are same. What extra thing what you have to do is you have to explicitly specify a module path. Module path tells the compiler where the compiled files will be located. Okay, compiled files mean after you have run Java C file name dot Java, whichever class files will be generated, where I have to put those class files that will be tell the this model path will tell the compiler. Okay. When following along with this example, be sure that you execute Java C commands from the my mod app directory in order for the paths to be correct. Okay. My mod is the top level directory for the entire module application. Compile simple math functions dot Java. Okay. Java C minus D app modules app, app function. Okay. App source app functions app function simple function simple math functions dot Java. Okay, so you have to compile this. This command must be executed from the my mod app directory. Okay, you have to go to this path. Notice the use of minus g. This tells the Java C where to put the output dot class file. Okay, so you have to put it here app modules app functions. For the examples in this chapter, the top of the directory for compiled code, code is app modules. Okay, for the all examples in this particular chapter, top of the directory tree for the compiled code is app modules. This command will create the output package directory for app functions dot simple functions under app modules dot app functions as needed. Okay. What is this command? This particular command will create the output package directory. Like output directory. Okay. It will be creating for app functions dot simple functions directory under app modules dot app functions as and when required okay now we will see the java c command here is the java c command that compiles the module info dot java file for the app functions module so how to write this command java c minus g app modules app functions app source app functions module info dot java okay this puts the java info dot class file into the app module dot App functions directory that we have provided over here. Okay, where to put the uh, class file? This is the path. Here I have to pass app modules slash app functions. Okay, so after uh, running this module info dot Java, compiling this uh, with Java C, it will be creating module info dot class and that class file will be put in app modules dot app functions. Although the three reading two step process works for the sake of discussion, it was explained. Okay, it is usually easier to compile modules, module input of Java and its source file in one cup of that. Okay, so we can combine it and run it was Java C minus C app modules app functions and app source app functions app functions simple functions simple math functions dot Java. So all these things will be put in app modules dot slash app functions okay here also we provided the same path dot class file will be put in app modules app functions and here also we put in path as app modules app functions so now we are combining this these two things java c minus g app modules app functions so instead of writing the two things separately we are combining it and writing it like java c minus g app modules app functions so, uh, two files will be compiled at one place, app source, app functions, module info.java, 
as well as app source app functions app functions simple functions simple mathematical functions dot java okay each compiled file is put in the proper module or package directly as you have specified now compile the module info dot java and my mod app dot java for the app start module using this command okay java c module part app module minus t app modules app start app source app start module info dot java and app source app start app start my mod app uh, demo my mod app uh, demo dot java what this line will do this line will compile module info dot java as well as my mod app dot demo dot java for the app start module okay they are java c double dash module part app modules okay as minus t app modules app start so everything will be put in app modules app start and these are the two files module info dot java as well as my mod app demo dot java notice the dash dash module path option it will tell the module path which is the path on which the compiler will use for the user defined modules required by the module info dot java file okay so module path will tell the path here you will place the user defined module modules defined by you okay uh, and those modules required by the module info dot java file and it will look for the two modules app functions module because it is needed by the app start module okay also notice that it specifies the output directory as all modules or app start module info class file will be in app modules app start directory and my class demo my my mod app demo class will be in app modules app start app start my mod app demo package directory once you have completed this complete compilation, you can run how using the Java, like in the previous Java uh, program. So how to run this Java dash dash module path app modules dash m app start slash app start dot my mod app demo dot my mod app demo. Here the module path specifies the path to the application modules. App modules is the directory at the top of the compile modules tree and minus m option specifies the class which class app start slash app start dot my mod app demo dot my app mod app demo the class that contains the entry file point of the application and in this case the name of the class that contains the main method okay so this class is having public static void main so this will be the entry point okay when you run the program, output will be to the factor of 10, smallest common factor uh, common to smallest factor common to 35, and one zero five is 5, and largest common factor is 7. Okay. In this way, we have seen the basics regarding modules in Java. In the next session, we will continue further with more related, more interesting topics regarding modules. Till then, you can enjoy modules. You can practice models okay until i create a practical example for this okay you can practice it like we have i have explained in the theory part okay so meet you in the next lecture next session with the new chapter new topic in this chapter so thank you so much